Phil, let me start this way. You've been playing here since you're 20 years old. Yeah. How would you rate these conditions in your entire time playing Augusta National? Well, they're challenging, but we've had uh, we've had more challenging conditions. I remember the year VJ won. Uh, the the first couple of days was so windy, and the reason it was more challenging was the greens were firm. You were making okay. divots. See, the greens are receptive today, so yes, it's tough to judge the wind. But if you get the ball to fly on the green, you can hold it. You can keep it uh, around around the the edges, and and ultimately make some easy pars. How do you rate a 71 still in this context in these conditions? Oh, it's great. Anything under par, anything at par or better today is a phenomenal score. And, and anything at uh, just a cut one, two, three over, you've kept yourself right in it. But uh, anything under par today, I thought I would have taken uh, from the start because uh, there, there are a lot of uh, mistakes that can take place out there with the swirling winds. We hear so often about the swirl, but when it's blowing this hard and gusts up to 35 or 40, does the constancy of the wind somehow lessen that challenge at all? The reason it doesn't is that it will quarter fractionally into you, fractionally helping. And, and that discrepancy is, is a massive uh, difference and uh, enough to, to go from birdie to bogey.